Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. After we have learned about the type of encryptions that we can have, which are the symmetric and the asymmetric encryptions, it's time now to start speaking about what are the protocols that are used on the symmetric and on the asymmetric encryptions. So as you can see here, I have listed some of the protocols and those protocols that are also used on Microtech. Okay, so the first protocol uh, type is the symmetric one. We are going to see what are the algorithm and the protocols that are used in the symmetric. Remember, when, before we start speaking about those protocols, symmetric is the one which uses the same secret, secret key. Okay, so uh, we have seen that uh, when we were talking here about the symmetric and asymmetric. So the symmetric means each router uses the same key to encrypt and uh, decrypt the uh, data. And then the uh, asymmetric, they use uh, two, which is the public and the private keys. Okay, so now I'm going to speak about the protocols which are in the symmetric encryption algorithm. Okay, the first symmetric uh, uh, protocol is called DES. DES has been created a long time ago, so in 1970 by IBM, and it has only 56 bit key. So that's a very old uh, protocol. It's an encryption symmetric protocol, and it has only 56 bit key. And uh, this was cracked. And it was cracked in year 1999. It, it took for uh, the, the company which made the crack uh, for this key, it took 22 hours and 15 minutes to crack it. Okay, so after 22 hours and 15 minutes, they could crack it. And that's on well, 1999, so that's 20 years back. So that means that nowadays with the, the more powerful computers that we have, it may happen that we can crack the DS much faster. So that's why I put here, do not use it. So please, when you want to use or to choose the, the encryption algorithm that you want to use for the symmetric, then don't use the DS. And if we go here to the MyCritic router and, uh, and uh, inside, for example, the uh, profiles here, so uh, you can see that we can choose the encryption algorithm and they put for us that you can choose DES. So again, I say to you, please do not use the DES. And that's here the configuration that we are going to do on IPsec. And as you can see, DES is shown here. So if you check it, that means you can use DES. And from, from the other side, you have also that uh, to be able to use DES as well if you want to do side to side. So that's why I always recommend to not use the DES. The second uh, symmetric encryption protocol is 3DES. So what is the difference between DES and 3DES? Because DES is weak, then they have created 3DES. And 3DES, it makes on each block of data, it uses 3DES keys. That means if you have a data here coming, so uh, there is three keys, key one, key two, and key three. So what will happen is that the data will go for the first key and it is encrypted by the first key, which is 56 bit. And then this will be encrypted again with a second key and this will be encrypted again with a third key. So that's why it is here saying that it creates 168 bit because that's 56 times three, then it makes 156 bit. Okay, so it is much better than the, the uh, DES. So if you want to choose between DES and 3DS, I would recommend that you use 3 DES. Okay, now the third symmetric algorithm encryption, it's called AES. And uh, AES is very strong and efficient algorithm. Okay, so you will see that uh, most of people who want to use VPN, they always choose AES. It's very strong, very efficient algorithm, and it is up to now uncrackable. And it has uh, keys of 128, 192, and 256 uh, bit keys. So that means you can choose which uh, uh, bit keys you want to use. And of course, if you use, for example, 192, it's stronger than 128, and 256 is stronger than 192. Now, of course, when you use the more keys, then it becomes slower, okay? So the more you use the keys, the more the encryption becomes, the more the scrambles become, but also the VPN will become slower. Now, the AES has been adopted by the US government and it is now used worldwide. So the US government, they said, okay, there is the protocol that I'm gonna use for the encryption, I adopted, and uh, after that, the AES became very used worldwide. Now, someone can say, okay, from 128 uh, here we have on AS 128 bits and on 3DS we have 168 bit. So that means that 3DS in this case is stronger than AES. Now the answer is no. It's not stronger if you use, for example, an AS128 bit, even though that number of bits is less, but the algorithm by itself is much complex and much stronger than 
3ds and remember 3ds what is doing it is three keys and it's every time doing encryption with one of the key until you have the data um, fully encrypted one it finished on the third key so that means one key relay on the other while on the aes it is just one mathematical algorithm that has 128 bit and it is having a very strong encryption now can someone say okay then if i want to choose between 128 and 192 and 256 so if i go to 256 that's double 128 so yeah it's then why should it be slow it can be fast so here i have to say something that when you have for example 128 bit if you add only one bit just one bit so that means you have 129 bit of encryption by adding only one bit that means you are doubling the work of the encryption so the encryption is doing double work so if you add for example another bit then it becomes 130 bit key encryption then it is double double that means four times work that the encryption algorithm has to work that means more intense on our cpu so for example in this case if you go from 128 to 256 so that's double 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 so you you can imagine how big it is then and how much uh, in, in test could be on the cpu that's why it's not really correct that from 128 to 256 is only double the work it is really many times double the work and uh, that's why when uh, you want to choose between 128 and 256 then uh, you have to consider what CPU you have on your router and the memory, and then you have to think if it's efficient to use which of the AES, is it 128 or 192 or 256. And if I go here to the MicTech router and uh, on the profile, you can see here the algorithm here, there is AES, and you can see AES 128, AES 256, and AES 192. So you can see that you can choose which one you wanna use, okay? now. Most of the uh, routers uh, that we can see in the market, other than uh, Microtik, they mainly have those three. Okay, but on Microtik, there is something more. Of course, I'm not saying all the routers, most of them, they have uh, those three. Those are really found everywhere on any router. But uh, on Microtik, there is also another type of encryption that we can use, which is symmetric. We are still talking about the symmetric encryptions, which is Blowfish. And if we go to the Microtik router here, we can see that there is here you see blowfish you see that one so that's also another type of encryption that you can use it on the microtech router when you want to set up the ipsec vpn so what is blowfish blowfish is an algorithm also an encryption algorithm and it is part of the symmetric algorithm and it's designed in 1993 as a replacement of ds so because DS was designed on year 70, so this one came after it on 93 to be replaced. And it used variable lengths of keys from 32 to 448. Now, someone can say, what shall I use then? DS or Blowfish? Then my answer is none. So don't use uh, 3DS and don't use Blowfish. Because if you can use AES, why should you use DS or Blowfish? Then please use the AES because it is much stronger and the last uh, encryption protocol the symmetric encryption protocol that you can see on the microtech router is camellia camellia was developed by mitsubishi and nnt and has a security comparable to aes so camellia is as good as aes so in this case if you want to use between aes and camellia then that's possible you can say well i want aes or i want camellia but again I always uh, recommend that you, could, you use AES because AES you can find it on most of the other brands in case you're doing IPsec connectivity with another brand than Microtech. But if you're using, for example, two Microtech, then both of them, they have Camellia. You can also still use Camellia. And also it has keys from 128, 192, and 256. So it's as strong as AES. And if we go to the Microtech router here, and uh, we can uh, have a look here, we can see that this is Camellia. So it is Camellia 128, 256, and 192 so you can choose any of those if you want if you don't want to use aes for example so again when we talk about the symmetric we have two good uh, protocols that we can use aes and camellia okay and the rest i recommend that you don't use them so now i have spoken about the uh, symmetric encryptions that are available on microtic so again symmetric means that one key will encrypt and the same key will decrypt okay now let's talk about the asymmetric 
algorithm that are available on MicroTik. The asymmetric protocols, the encryption protocols that are available are one RSA. So RSA is uh, uh, reverse Shamir Adelman. That's what RSA means. So those are the names of the people who created this protocol. It was public on year 2000 and it is mostly used for application encryption such as SSH. And it can have 512, 768 and one megabit or larger. So what RSA has as a function? So let's say if I go now to uh, the MicroTik router and uh, I will do, for example, SSH to the MicroTik router. So I open PuTTY and uh, from here I put 10.0.0.1. That's the IP of my MicroTik router. And I select SSH. And when I say open, you see it will get here an alert and it is saying the server's host key is not cached in your registry. So there is a key that you need to use. And then here it's saying that this is the key SSH RSA and it is using 2048 bit key. So you can see that when I want to use SSH to the MicroTik router, there is some uh, exchange of keys and that's on the asymmetric. And that's what I'm saying that RSA is used for miscellaneous application, like for example, SSH. Now, when I say yes, then this key would be registered on my computer. Then I can do SSH to the MicroTik router. Okay, then I can open this session to the MicroTik router. So this is the main usage of RSA. Mostly you can see it when you want to do some miscellaneous application, you want to connect to, to via application to the MicroTik router, that's where you can see RSA. Another thing that I want to speak about RSA that is very strong also. So RSA is a strong and up to now is unbreakable. So that means that you want to connect SSH to the MicroTik router. Then if you choose, for example, like in my case, it says you want to use 2048 bit key, then it is very strong. And you know that your SSH connection to the MicroTik router is secure and all the data will be sent secure when you want to do the command line on SSH. The second uh, algorithm, which is asymmetric, that you can find on MicroTik as well as uh, on any other brand, is DH, Defi Hellman. Defi Hellman is uh, public also in year 1997, and it's commonly used in VPN connection. So you see, in VPN connection means on IPsec to transfer security the shared secret keys, and those are the bits: 768, 1 meg. 1536 bit or larger. So the main function of the Defi Hellman is what I have explained when I was speaking about this slide, when we were talking in the slide about here, the security over the internet, to securely send the shared secret key from one side to another. And that's where Defi Hellman worked. And they share first the uh, Defi Hellman public key. And then in this case, the shared secret key is being encrypted with the public uh, Defi Hellman key to be sent to the other side. So this is where you, you have to use Defi Hellman when you want to configure IPsec. So again, Defi Hellman is a very secure protocol. It's asymmetric encryption algorithm. And you can find it also on the MicroTik router here when we are going to create the profiles. So here you can see this is Defi Hellman group and uh, you can choose for, based on uh, what bit you want. So you can see you have the smallest bit and you can go up to here with we go to 8192 bit key and that's very, very strong here. OK, so uh, normally what you can choose is 1024 or 2048. That's strong enough to be able to exchange the uh, shared secret keys to be sent from one router to another. So you can see that all this level here is for Defi Hellman. So with this uh, last point about Defi Hellman, I have explained to you what are the encryption protocols that you can see whether you are using MicroTik or other brands, because those protocols, they are seen everywhere. And uh, also I have told you what uh, the, what is the best option to choose protocols. So if you want to use the symmetric protocols, I highly advise to use AES. And in case you want to use Camellia, that's also possible. And then, of course, here you have only the one option, which is the Defi Hellman on the asymmetric. And that's to 
uh, send the shared secret key from one side to another securely so you can use Defi Hellman it's very secure and in case you go higher by the bit key then it becomes even more secure but again remember it becomes slower so this is what I wanted to explain in uh, this lecture I'm just showing you all details because now it's more clear for you when you want to configure the IPsec on micro router, you say, oh, okay, now we're using symmetric. Oh, in symmetric, I use maybe AES, that's the best. And then when you want to put the asymmetric, you say, oh, Defi Hellman is what I'm going to use. So then you have a better idea of what you are doing on the configuration. So you will be able to do the configuration correctly on the micro router. So this is what I wanted to explain in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you, and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.